Some places in the world are built on tradition that runs so deep, it infuses the ground and everything around. Welcome to Death Valley, home of the LSU Tigers. The Tigers are one of college football's oldest and most storied programs. A proud tradition where national titles inspire one of the most passionate and colorful fan bases in all of sport. This program has found the right head coach. His ambition is limitless. Every obstacle is overcome. Watching the passion and the energy in Tiger Stadium and understand the intimidation of the Tiger family. We're going to come together one team, one heartbeat, take it one team at a time. All I want to do is see them win. And we're going to lean on each other and pull together. It will never be about our opponent. It will always be about the LSU Tigers. Always. When that ball is snapped, I want you to play as hard as you can. One team, one heartbeat, one family. This is one of the, one of the ages. the Tigers, winning is the only objective. Finish, finish, finish. Guys over. Finish on two. One, two, finish. Over the course of the 2019 season, the demands of that unforgiving standard will be revealed. Game by game, each week a test to prove the closer you look, the more you see all that lies beneath in Death Valley and beyond. Baton Rouge is home to LSU. And in the spring of 2019, the airwaves were buzzing. The Tigers' offense had a new look. When they brought in Joe Brady, what were your thoughts? You went out there the first spring practice, and I was like, okay, who is this? Walk through it. Hold on. Go through it. Let's go, CT. Hips. Hips should be... Hey, don't, I don't want to see the hips facing this way, though. I want to see this way. Turn the hips. Turn the hips. Joe Brady came in from the Saints. We put in the RPOs. We put in the Saints passing game. We installed it at a lot faster speed than we ever did. But I want to see hips, all right? Hips facing this way. Hips coming down, catching the ball, turning up. Hips, yeah. Come on, turn them. The thing about LSU is they're always going to have speed. You know, and it's our job as coaches to put our speed in space and allow them to win their one-on-ones. They don't yeah. get under center anymore. <laughs> that might not be a big deal in some places, but by God, it's a big deal at LSU. Everybody would ask, what about LSU's offense? I said, look, it's going to look a hell of a lot different. It's finally here. We are in the new age of college football, no longer stuck in the stone age. I took schemes that I felt can translate at any level. We're trying to get the ball out fast, get the ball in space. You know, modernize the, the passing game. Joe Brady brought the Tigers into the modern age after learning from a master. Sean Payton has been with the Saints for 14 years and has known the Tigers' head coach even longer. Ed Ogeron once coached in New Orleans. His former boss led a coaching clinic in Baton Rouge. When he came to like a coach's clinic, he blew everyone away. He gets on the board, starts drawing up plays, drawing up how to beat coverages. The Mike linebacker in this Tampa 2 is going to run the hole. 
But if they get full flow to the tight end, the Mike linebacker has to be mindful of that, and they kind of pass this assignment on. And the LSU coaches, Coach O, realize, okay, I need more information. We're trying to pay attention to every little thing, and it's all important. We're trying to constantly remind them of our messages. This is in the weight room, strength, stamina, toughness. That's what we're going to win with. On the walls, we specifically began to put signs that have been well thought out and that kind of all pay attention to the things that we're preaching as coaches. Just doing every little detail exactly right. Only on Sunday in the game does the practice become really worthwhile. We're trying to create drills and make these guys mindful of protecting the football. All those things, I think, carry over in to how you play a game and how you finish and how you win and how you win the, the ultimate prize. I can't point to another time in college football or really football in general that something has worked this quickly. This goes without saying, I think you need to find your quarterback. This is the guy that really, as you're all sitting down, be it in first class or coach, that walks onto the plane and then steps up and sits in the cockpit of the plane and he's gonna, at the end of the day, fly it. I need to be one of the best quarterbacks in the country. If we want to reach our goals, finish number one in the country instead of number six, I need to be up there with Trevor Lawrence and Tua. And that's my goal going into this season. There's no question in our mind that if he gets the ball last, he can take the ball down there and drive it and score. He captured this team by leadership, by example, by toughness. He's going to take us as far as we can go. I do believe we built on a championship program. The best thing is I know about this football team, you're going to respond. I know you will. You'll do anything we ask you to. Anything we demand you to do it, I know you will. I know you will. You have the makings of a great team. This is Dallas U's standard of performance. We said it tonight. We said it tonight. 2019, this is your team. We said it tonight. No matter what we play. No we want to sign up. No matter you take the field. You know what I'm saying, guys? Sir. With class, with boys, with dignity. The debut of the new look LSU offense. Burrow's got time and he's got six. Terrace Marshall with a touchdown grab. A couple of first quarter quick strikes for the number six team in the country. The preparation for Texas begins. Looks like they picked the wrong getaway driver. Gonna be paying for this for a long time. They will, but with accident forgiveness. Allstate won't raise your rates just because of an accident, even if it's your fault. Cut! Sonny. So good? Line! The desert never lies. Isn't that what I said? Uh, no, you were talking about all state and insurance. I just, when I. Let's try again, everybody back to one. Accident forgiveness from all state. Click or call for a quote today. The new mask guidelines are here. It's recommended you wear a non-medical mask during your daily activities so you can protect yourself and others. Clean Zone wants everyone to be able to get a mask, and we have sourced a large number of non-medical masks that you can get fast. Clean Zone masks are lightweight and made with a high-efficiency triple-layered filtration fabric to filter out dust, bacteria, pollen, and protect against fluids. They come with a moldable nose piece for a secure fit. The full face size covers the chin for ultimate protection. The flexible ear loops provide universal fit for easy breathing. Plus, you can wear your glasses fog-free and comfortably. There's nothing else like it. Call or go online to order right now and we'll send you a set of 10 Clean Zone masks for just $29.99. They ship from the USA and your shipping is free. Plus, Clean Zone will donate a percentage of masks sold to the Have a Heart Knack Foundation. Call or go online to cleanzonemasks.com. That's cleanzonemasks.com. Order now. Congratulations to New Orleans. 42 years of age, emergency support goaltender. I mean, what a save! I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. Go, 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 go! LSU's first win was a warm-up. 
the Tigers' new offense would be tested against number nine, Texas. Joe Burrow was ready to show Texas what the Tiger family already knew. His touch, combined with his quick release, made him the best quarterback in college football. Burrow with time, fires, catch made back of the end zone, Justin Jefferson, touchdown, Tigers! Regular rush, Burrow throws, has a man open, middle of the end zone, it's going to be Terrace Marshall! And the fireworks have started with this highlight game. Burrow again, a shotgun snap, fires this time, going up for it, Justin Jefferson, he's got it in the end zone, touchdown, Tigers! These corners are locals matched against these LSU wide receivers and Joe Burrow. And I'll tell you, as much as I love watching Burrow, this Justin Jefferson is a big-time receiver at LSU. That's exactly what I'll let you. What a game. Proud of our football team. We fought, man, what, a, what an epic battle. To win this game in that type of atmosphere gives us a lot of confidence on our football team. But how about our offense, man? In his first two games, Burrow threw nine touchdown passes. Against Northwestern State, the Tigers scored 65 points. Against Vanderbilt, Burrow set a new team record with six scoring strikes. Four went to Jamar Chase. Week two against Texas and LSU scores 45, you could have said, okay, but Texas may not be great, let's see. Right. So then it became, all right, well, they're putting up gaudy numbers, but they've beaten Vanderbilt and Utah State. Let's see when they play Florida. In 2018, Florida beat LSU. But the game was in Gainesville. Stewart, he's got the first interception. Joe Burrow has ever thrown in his career. This is when the real season starts. And you know, this is when the big boy football is played. Against the number seven ranked Gators, Burrow and his boys showed they were all grown up. For the matchup against Florida, LSU devised a game plan that attacked every inch of the field. I tell the receivers every single day, the team's gonna go as we go. Tiger Stadium, LSU, Florida, Battle of Unbeat. You can tell there's a lot at stake. It's one of those games you just hope it lives up to the billing. No place on earth quite like it. Maybe these two teams will give us something to remember tonight. The North Toronto Bayou Bengals begin a challenging stretch, what they hope will take them into playoff contention. Gets the ball out quickly, and the catch is made by Jefferson. Over the middle, delivers a dunk, caught by Jefferson. If they have space, nine and two are going to connect. Burrow downfield, Burrow, and the catch is made in the 32 by Jefferson. Burrow on fakes, scanning the end zone, rolling out, fires a dart. Jefferson was right in the pile on and he did get in. wasn't just their offense. The Tigers dominated in all facets of the game. The LSU defense the last couple series doing a very good job of getting a push. Intercepted! Trash looking to throw. Throw to the end zone. Diving pick. Derek Stingley made the pick. a big time play. Pivotal point in this football game for both.
both these teams. To know it better than I can, it was like 42 points like, and 44 like 45 plays. plays or yeah, like that. it's like nobody has stopped it. Sean, do you take some pride in your offense being emulated? And, and well, look, kind of I, I think I don't know the whole dynamic there, and so I get sometimes, you know, even for Joe, I'm like, you know, the last thing I told Joe was he was making mistakes. So, <laughs> <laughs> so much for what I know. <laughs> A lot more work to be done, but LSU gets to six and zero. Oh. Joining us right now, Joe Burrow. Hey, Joe, as you, know, you look at the, your season at LSU, kind of talk us through it, because I don't think anybody necessarily had you where you are, but you guys have dominated this year. It's been pretty impressive. Yeah, you know, I don't think anybody did except for the people in this building. And, <laughs> you know, we, we knew what we had. Our offense makes all, all defenders defend every area of the field at all times. You know, you can't just forget about one area of the field because we'll hurt you. Hey, t- tell me about Coach O and what he's meant to you. Yeah, I mean, so Coach Owen and I kind of took a chance on each other. It was his second year coming off a year when they didn't play as great, as good as they thought they could have. And, you know, I hadn't played football in three years. And nobody, nobody knew the, the kind of player that I was. And he, he took a chance on me, and, you know, it, could, it couldn't have worked out better for us. Burrow began his collegiate career at Ohio State. Although he was playing in the middle of the country, Joe still knew about teams from the SEC. My dad grew up a Mississippi State fan, so I always I had a little cowbell in my room growing up because uh, he would go to the games. Uh, so I know a little bit about him. We're going to have our work cut out for us going into that atmosphere. I have guys all over the field that I can get the ball to, and they're going to make something happen, whether I throw it behind the line of scrimmage or 50 yards down the field. It could be a touchdown every play. You always have a place to go with the ball, and that's something that you know, I kind of came into the season really wanting was, you know, five guys out on the route. When I get pressure, I know where I'm, where my guys are going to be. Get a side. Am I going to pressure? Am I going to go man covers? Am I going to drop eight? Can I cover these guys one on one? There's nothing they can do about us. We just get started though. We, just, we we got a lot of football left, and uh, I know Joe's not worried about records. By midseason, LSU seemed poised for a championship run. <laughs> Get down low. Get down low. Get down low. Come on, come on, Sean. Come on, Sean. Get down low. Come on, get down low. Feel that fit right there. Feel that fit right there. In October, another team of Tigers, ranked ninth, came to Baton Rouge, featuring a fearsome defensive line. Going into this week, knowing how their D line would play, uh, with knowing knowing how physical and, and good those guys were up front, we knew uh, as far as from the running back room, we knew our job was to. Get up field. Uh, get as get as many yards as you can. That extra yard this week will count. LSU's running game started slow, but the Tigers knew that championships are won with perseverance and determination. First down and ten. Burrow slings it far side. Marshall gets separation. He's got it. Touchdown, Tiger. Sped up. We knew that we wanted to run the ball, and we knew if they stayed in the same look and we were going fast, they couldn't check out of it. Run Clyde until he gets in his own. That was pretty much the game plan at that point. What would be their closest game of the 2019 season? 
the LSU Tigers defense delivered when it mattered the most. Be called the play of the game. Offense is doing a great job with what they're doing, but uh, I mean, it, it's a team game. The offense can't score and put up 60 like we're used to. The defense is going to have to step up. Six takes the shotgun snap, looks to his left, launches toward the end zone, and Stingley intercepts it at the three. Stingley takes it away from the intended receiver. Defensive line is uh, one of the best defensive lines I've seen. Damn, you good. Good to see you guys. Uh, first round pick. Uh, first round pick. Just like I told you all the recruits. Hey, I'm proud of you guys. Uh, you people are working, man. Hey, you don't want to run a couple of your pass rush. Come see me, man. Uh, 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 Big Daddy Brown. Oh, yeah, my boy. What's up, guys? Hey guy, hi there, welcome to Hymns. Should have done it years ago, and I feel like the young stud that I always imagined I was. Outstanding product, works above and beyond our expectations. This has been a life changer, even in just a few weeks. Featured in GQ, Playboy, and Men's Health. Find out what all the buzz is about. Go to 4 slash ed and get started with a free online visit while supplies last. Every Thursday. That's it. LSU wins it. SEC Network presents the College World Series SEC Clinching Classics. The most memorable game. And the Gators get their first College World Series championship. In SEC baseball history. Vanderbilt on top of the college baseball world again. South Carolina clinches the 2011 College World Series. Thursday at 7 on the SEC Network. If you walk with a traditional cane, you could be causing crippling pain. Traditional canes force you to walk hunched over, head down, and unstable, which creates debilitating back, neck, and joint pain. Take your next step upright, secure, and with less pain with the Campbell Posture Cane, the ingenious walking cane that allows you to walk more upright, changing your line of sight so you look forward instead of down. It gives me more support, and I don't have to worry about Falling. The secret is in the revolutionary Campbell handle that takes the pressure off your shoulder and wrist, placing you in a natural, pain-free position. The Campbell Posture Cane works by supporting the strength of your body using biomechanical engineering to dramatically improve your posture and feel less pain. The Campbell Posture Cane has given me my freedom back. You can get your Campbell Posture Cane for the factory direct price of just $39.99. It comes with the Campbell Gold Medallion Money Back Guarantee. Call or go online to CampbellCane.com. That's CampbellCain.com. LSU's 8-0 start was four years in the making, dating back to 2016, when the Tigers made a mid-season change. Ed Ogeron's first game as interim head coach, 2016 against Missouri. What's your memory of that? On the sideline, nobody sitting down. Energy for your players. Everybody got it? Yes, sir. Bring your energy. You ain't. If you ain't bringing energy, you ain't winning. Biggest takeaway. A lot of points. Points. A lot of offense. <laughs> the vibe around the program was one of of optimism this is your team you guys took accountability of your team the sidelines offense defense special teams how about that coaching staff give them a hand i got asked a lot that week and really in that interim stint about steve ensminger stay away from building stay away from building hands inside hands inside pad level okay it's like the ultimate lsu guy Mm -hmm. played here coached here do it again, do it again, do it again. It's man backside. Man. It's about LSU. I played there. I went to school there. Whatever we could do to make LSU great, I'm in. Those two, y'all are working to that backer, right? LSU's special. Okay, that's right there. 
This whole state loves LSU. Next stop is the home of the Crimson Tide, the Tigers' bitter rival for the last decade. In 2018, their offense was thoroughly dismantled and shut out. Alabama, we haven't done it. Keep your mouth shut. Say a word. We don't need to win the game on the Twitter machine. We're going to win that game on the field, and we're going to win it on the field. You guys got that? I told them on Monday, you're the better football team. They're going to have character. They're going to be tough. They're going to play together. I said, we are going to win the football game, and we're going to beat Alabama. And I told them, I do believe you're the best football team. That's the first time I've told them. Division, conference, and national title implications on the line. Burrow calls for the snap. First down, handed off Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Spins away from one tackler in the backfield across the 10. I have confidence in our scheme, I have confidence in our coaches, I have confidence in my guys. That's really all that it comes down to. I, I know, you know, in one-on-one -on -one situations, my guys are going to make a play. Burrow throwing. Far side. And going to be grabbed by Chase at about the three. He'll step into the end zone by his lonesome. Touchdown, Tigers! Chase gave the Tigers an early lead. LSU believes they can finally beat the team that tormented them for so long. To do so, the defense will need to shut down the Crimson Dynasty. The Tigers got to Tua Tonga Viola and forced Alabama to make mistakes. the snap. The punter going to pick it up and it'll be hammered at the 40-yard line of Alabama. Here now is a third and two. Earl, he's looking to throw. as a man wide open at the 20. Racing into the end zone. Harris Marshall left wide open. Nobody had him right around the 15-yard line. He made the catch, looked around, said, I'm by my lonesome, and I'll take it out in for the score. One minute, 43 seconds remain. Burrow slings it far side and diving for it. Moss, did he hold it in? They'll say a catch down inside the one. Thaddeus Moss, the tight end, grabs it and gets a foot down at the one-half yard line. That was an unbelievable catch, back shoulder throw. I didn't think there was any way he was going to catch it. to 13. Tigers extend the lead with 26 seconds remaining before halftime. LSU will get the ball to start the second half. Pressure off the edge. Two and throws. Intercepted. Intercepted across the middle. Taken back on the near side by Queen. This could literally be the turning point of this ball game. Burrow looking left, delivers the football. Caught Edward Delaire, got it in the left corner. What a turn of events in the final minute of this second quarter. LSU led 16 to 13. 
And now 14 unanswered points. And they build their largest lead of the afternoon. It's 20. Hey, what he said? He'll die over the skills! What'd you tell your team at halftime to keep the edge? Keep going. Keep going. 60 minutes. I mean, 60 minutes, and look, look, we knew we was going to have to make plays. We felt this was going to be a 60-minute game. Nothing's easy when you're going to play a team like this. Go, let's go. 60 minutes. We'll set the tempo. We knew they were going to come back. That's that's Alabama on the other side. That's not – that's Alabama. Dynasty. You know, we, we knew that, that we were going to get their best shot in the second half. They came out firing. I, I loved how we responded, though. Drops it off. Clyde Edwards Alaire spins from a man. Clyde, you know, he creates such a, a matchup disadvantage for the defense. He can run routes. And then you also have to stop him on the downhill run. He's gonna he's gonna play a long time. Clyde Edwards Alaire spins off a defender by his lonesome left corner of the end zone. Anybody in college football spin better than Clyde Edwards Hilaire? LSU gets their first score of the second half on the legs of Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Burrow keeping off the left edge with Burrow inside the 20. way down near the five yard line before we stop there. You know, I enjoy getting hit sometimes and it makes me feel like a, a real football player instead of a quarterback. People can kind of look down on quarterbacks if they're, if they're not taking hits, but you know, I like I like mixing it up in there. First down, goal to go for the Fighting Tigers of LSU with 2.09 to play. sure that we know is this wasn't our goal this year we got we got more goals ahead of us this we didn't we didn't go into the season say we were, we're gonna go beat Alabama you know we got we got more things ahead of us was reason enough to celebrate. But LSU was already thinking of bigger and better things. The Tigers started the season with dreams of a championship. They passed a crucial test. Still, the dream was far from becoming fulfilled. A lot of internet providers say they're great, but only Cox Internet is number one for streaming video according to Nielsen data. Families can stream their favorite shows, chat over video, and watch live casts. 
From your man cave to your sea den and every room in between, with panoramic Wi-Fi, you're covered. Stream, chat, and stay connected with Cox Internet, number one for streaming video. Capital One knows life doesn't update you about your credit card. So meet Eno, the Capital One assistant that looks out for charges that might surprise you and helps you fix them. What's in your wallet? They've learned to savor the moments that were always there. And they never tasted this good. If raising Cane's secret cane sauce was the end zone, no one would ever lose a game. Touchdown. 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 Go for the win this game day with Cane's. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. Official chicken of the New Orleans Saints. One love. <laughs> New Advil Dual Action with Acetaminophen fights pain in two ways. Advil targets pain at the source, while Acetaminophen blocks pain signals. The future of pain relief is here. New Advil Dual Action. With the Home Depot app, your phone is your most powerful tool. Find just what you need in a snap. Get a second opinion in seconds and have it all delivered free. Download today. The Home Depot. How doers get more done. We believe in coffee that opens more eyes to black business. Make believe made for everyone. A wave of confidence. Spotlight in 2019. The number one receiver was Jamar Chase. Number two, Justin Jefferson. Leading the charge on the ground was number 22. Clyde Edwards Hilaire. First down, snap, and he ended off. Coming near side, what do you know? Clyde Edwards Hilaire, he's still in there. Near side, 40, 45, across midfield. 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. High steps, keeps up at the 15. He's into the end zone. 89-yard touchdown run for Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Hey, now. And LSU punches their ticket for the first time since 2011 to the SEC title game in Atlanta. The last home game of the 2019 season was one final day in the sun for Louisiana's favorite son. be the new fan favorite, DBU remains the hometown hero in Baton Rouge. It's a lot of conversation going around DBU. We like to call ourselves the brotherhood now because everybody's trying to false claim DBU. But at the end of the day, I, know, I think people know who it really is. The brotherhood paved the way in the regular season finale. Here's an interception by Grant Delpit. Grant Delpit in the Tigers' defense surrendered no points for the Aggies' first eight drives. Sacking Kellen Mond five times and holding him to just 10 completed passes. Burrow and the offense had no such problems. Another play fake by Burrow and a deep strike. And an open receiver. Jamar Chase, another touchdown. Joe Burrow now ties the record for the most touchdown passes in SEC history. One of the greatest in the history of the SEC and really one of the greatest in the history of college football. Burrow set the conference record for single season passing yards. LSU completed a perfect regular season and moved on to the SEC championship game for which offensive coordinator Steve Ensminger had the perfect plan. Here comes Joe Brady. And Joe Brady and Steve Ensminger, that relationship, that doesn't work almost anywhere else in the country. To have those two men up in the booth together, working together to get what we have now in this LSU offense has been remarkable. 
Having egos out of the equation for this LSU football team has led to where they are right now. Threatening here in the first quarter. He's got it in the pocket, three steps. Again, tons of time, still looking for somebody to come open. He'll swing it far side, it. and it's going to be caught. Jamar Chase, touchdown, Tigers. Burrow stepping back, throws, Marshall in the end zone, got it. Touchdown, Tigers. Hey, that's the third team that says their defensive scheme won't work. Number one defense in the country, defensive scheme won't work. Del Pitt and the LSU defense outwork the Georgia offense in every phase of the SEC championship game. Delpit drops him back at the 31-yard line. Nice tackle. Give to White. He'll be punished and drop back at the 32-yard line. Richard Lawrence. Pick six coming. Think about a pick six, maybe a pick. Quarterback stands. Slings it far side. Stingley picks it off. Down throws. Derek Stingley has the football inside the 50. Big turnover. You really like that? You really like that? Oh, no! Oh, Burrow calls forward again, now gets it. Late pressure comes. Burrow spins away. Now runs back to his right. Looking downfield and throwing on the run. Has a man open. Justin Jefferson at about the 43-yard line. Far side. Cuts back across the middle of the field. Brought down around the nine-yard line. Burrow passed for 349 yards and four touchdowns. His performance earned MVP honors and most importantly, put LSU into the college football playoff. Tigers, the 2019 SEC Champions. Today, Tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. Today tastes like we're a team and it never tasted this good. We believe in coffee that opens more eyes to black business. Make believe made for everyone. A wave of confidence. A lighter load on the planet. Flavors that set a new course. And a hundred shades of beautiful. We believe in good we can all afford. Emirates, we are proud that our promise is to provide a better flying experience to all our customers. But today, fly better does not just mean showers and bars above the clouds as well as wonderful in-flight service. 
as routes slowly open up and our many college students collect diplomas. Burrow earned a graduate degree from Louisiana State University and then received some additional rewards for his hard work. The Johnny Unitas Golden Arm Award goes to the best senior quarterback in America. Unitas had a legendary career in the NFL and Burrow will soon get his own chance to make his mark on the pros. College or pro, football is a team sport. Many Tigers were rewarded after LSU's perfect season. The LSU Tigers unit and the guys that played up front embodied the principles of toughness and teamwork and consistency and technique and effort and finishing better than any group in the rest of the nation. For the Tigers, individual acclaim was also rewarded at season's end. I was just putting on my stuff. I was going to go put the jacket on. Bro, you're supposed to be getting ready. It's picture like getting ready. You go. You really, you really, you really, you really slow. It's not that LSU cleans up. Ed Ogeron wins Coach of the Year. Grant Delpit wins Defensive Back of the Year. Jamar Chase wins Best Receiver. And Joe Burrow wins a handful of trophies. You know, everyone else might be surprised, but we weren't surprised about it. You know, our goal has been to, to win the national title, and we're in, we're in position to do it if we take care of business. So that's the only thing I'm thinking about. All thoughts were on the Peach Bowl, where LSU faced Oklahoma in the college football semifinal game. Burrow has been phenomenal this year. I mean, his rise from last year to this year has been astronomical. People have asked all season, is the difference in Joe Burrow, is it just attributable to Joe Brady? Joe Burrow is a professional playing college football. His mindset is already there. Slam going to be caught inside the 10. It's Justin Jefferson. Touchdown, Tigers! He goes over to the phone after every series, and he's talking through every play. All right, get Joe on the headset. All right, Joe, a couple thoughts here. You can go token or a dollar rush Q Fife and check to a pass. Hey, this is a huge drive right here, man. Let's go right down the field right now. That's the one thing. If somebody's catching, you might need to hold it for a second just to see, you know. They'll move Jefferson in the slot to the left. Yeah, that'll work. Perfect. Watch him on a play and watch how quickly his head goes to his second and third progression. Never seen it at this level. No matter what you do, you take away A, I'm going to go to B. Away B, I'm going to go to C. Burrow throws towards the end zone. Jefferson open. Touchdown, Tigers! Going for Jefferson again! It's another touchdown! Can anybody cover LSU's receiver? No. How about wanting that touchdown, Justin? You take away one. Okay, great. Number two, like, if he would have won the Blitnikoff Award, nobody would argue. Not one person. Burrow going to the air again, this time coming for it at the five-yard line, far side. Jefferson has his fourth receiving touchdown of the day. Okay, you want to take both those guys away? Well, here comes Thaddeus Small. Hey, Joe, if, if they, like we did in Dixie a while ago, if they play too high in the corner bails, I'm going to get to a bench smash. Bench smash, bench smash. All right, meet your fads wide here. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. You got it. Burrow comes up firing, got that Moss caught at the 44 side. Yeah. away one of those weapons, not only is somebody else going to step up, that person who steps up is elite at his position. It's pick your poison. Ensminger called the perfect game despite a difficult and terrible challenge. 
just tragic news to report. Steve Insminger's daughter-in-law, Carly McCord, is one of five people who's passed away in a plane crash in Lafayette. We tried to happily coach Insminger's family today. I was awarded as a tell coach. And here's what I told him. I told him what happened. And here's what he said. Of course, we're going to get through this. And obviously, he was distraught when he called a great game today. So this goes to show you the integrity and the grit character of the men on our football team. Hey, can I call? Hold on one second. Sure. Okay. Okay. Safe driver save 40%. Guys, guys. Check it out. Safe driver save 40%. Safe driver save 40%. Safe driver save 40%. That's safe driver save 40%. It is. That's safe driver save 40%. It's right there. It's him. He's here. He's right here. Hi. Hi. Hey. <laughs> That's totally him. That's him. That's totally the guy. Safe drivers do save 40%. Click or call for a quote today. The new mask guidelines are here. It's recommended you wear a non-medical mask during your daily activities so you can protect yourself and others. Clean Zone wants everyone to be able to get a mask, and we have sourced a large number of non-medical masks that you can get fast. Clean Zone masks are lightweight and made with a high-efficiency triple-layered filtration fabric to filter out dust, bacteria, pollen, and protect against fluids. They come with a moldable nose piece for a secure fit. The full face size covers the chin for ultimate protection. The flexible ear loops provide universal fit for easy breathing. Plus, you can wear your glasses fog-free and comfortably. There's nothing else like it. Call or go online to order right now and we'll send you a set of 10 Clean Zone masks for just $29.99. They ship from the USA and your shipping is free. Plus, Clean Zone will donate a percentage of masks sold to the Have a Heart Knack Foundation. Call or go online to cleanzonemasks.com. That's cleanzonemasks.com. Order now. Hey guy. Hi there. Welcome to Hims. I should have done it years ago, and I feel like the young stud that I always imagined I was. Outstanding product. Works above and beyond our expectations. This has been a life changer, even in just a few weeks. Featured in GQ, Playboy, and Men's Health. Find out what all the buzz is about. Go to 4 slash ed and get started with a free online visit while supplies last. site of the college football championship game, the home of the Saints. LSU football came back to finish what they started. For 14 games, we've had people try to say, well, wait until dot, dot, and nobody has stopped it. If someone's going to beat LSU, they're going to have to outscore. Them. LSU will score 40 points against Clemson. The conversation of can we stop LSU is over. Nobody could have foreseen this. Joe, if I had told you two seasons ago you were going to beat Bama, you were going to win a Heisman. You were going to be in the playoffs. You would have said what to me? I would have believed you. There's a spirit in this football team that they can't overcome, man. It would never happen. We stay together. One team. One heartbeat. One family made 2019. One for the ages. Play within the system, everybody. Play within the system. They're going cover two. They're going cover two here. Oh, Jamal Chase. Jamal Chase. This used to get that smart, get the momentum going, and create that, that avalanche that we've seen so often. Go get one. Looking for Jamal Chase. Right at the 15-yard line. He will waltz into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers! Joe Brady and Steve Insminger win the one-on-one -on -one battles. Jamal Chase has done that all year. You're going to kiss the leg done if you have heard her football. Oh, Jamar's choice, did they press the, uh, did they press him? Yeah. Hey, Joe, 
And do you want to stay away from the motion so you might get a better look on defense or keep the motion on? Okay. Gotcha. You got to hit some more deep shots. They're just playing underneath, holding, grabbing. We just got to hit some more deep shots. Looking for Chase. Caught. Right corner of the end zone. Touchdown, LSU. They cannot beat you if we get lined up. Hey, make sure you guys are communicating if they're who's out on the tight end, because if they bump it, it's got to be going to zone, right? Yes. Touchdowns in the red zone, you got me? We can't win this game of goals. Yeah. Touchdowns in the freaking red zone, all right? Work the cut, work the cut. Burrow has it. Wide open, bad moves! Third of the year for Thaddeus Moss. And Randy Moss, just an LSU fan, a proud dad tonight. Yeah. And then Panthers fly. Nobody had me. That corner came down. Who's been the one that's had Tad this this game? What number? Eight. 19? Yeah, we gotta take advantage of that. Tad, 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 Tad. Burrow, back pedal, slips it far side, catch made, Moss! Touchdown! For the second time, the tight end has found the end zone. It's a touchdown! Oh. Mickey, let Terrors know they're going to play man coverage. we got to win. Here's our technique. Let's go. Let's go, Terrors Marshall. Terrors Marshall. Let's go. Terrors Marshall. Let's go. Terrors Marshall goes up, pulls it down. Touchdown, LSU. Touchdown. Burrow comes off after that and said, it's time to fit me for a ring. I won that Heisman. Now it's time to fit me for that ring. A team of destiny and a team for ages celebrate on the field here tonight in New Orleans inside the Superdome, capturing the national title. I need a hand! I need a hand! Let the good times roll, and they certainly will. LSU won the national championship in style with a record-setting offense and an all-time great team. It's about you. Does everybody got that? Sure. It's about this football team. About your character. About your heart. Your grit. No going out. All freaking season. Nope. We will now be mentioned as one of the greatest teams in college football history. We're going to go in. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know what we did? We took it one game at a time, man. And we did play. No matter what happened, guys, you never play. You guys understand that? Thank you, man. This is what y'all did. Thank you, man. This is what y'all did. Thank you, man. Let's go. Thank you, man. Talk to him. Thank you, man. This is what y'all did. Let's go. Let's go. And the Tigers of LSU, a team of destiny and a team for ages, celebrate on the field here tonight in New Orleans inside the Superdome, capturing the national title. Tigers versus the Tigers for the title. Should be a lot of fun. It's a line drive that lands a few yards behind.